Here's a quick demonstration of the electronic rotation counter. And you can see on the display the symbol RT for rotation and the number zero. Each time the uh, swift arm that has the magnet passes by the receiving magnet on the, uh, on the unit, it will register a one in the uh, count. We'll take it slow here so you can see it. And I've modified this unit to uh, actually doesn't have part of the wood top on the uh, on the pedestal, uh, but just for demonstration purposes, this will show you that that the count is uh, incrementing on every rotation. Now, in this example, I'm going to set a preset number. That's the number of rotations that I want the unit to count up to before the uh, beeper sounds. And if we had it connected to the motor that's driving it, it would also shut off the motor at that point. So I'm just going to enter a uh, number of, let's say, 20 rotations. I'll save that number. And you can see on the bottom, the number is 20, and on the actual count it's 0. So let's see uh, what happens when it gets to 20. And what it will do is sound the beep. And if the motor were being driven right now, which it's not, it would shut off the motor. I'm turning that off manually at this point just to show you how it works. How in this case it went past by two because the momentum of the uh, unit will continue to drive it. So what you would do in a situation like that is set it maybe to 18 or 19 and then it would drift to the 20 point. In this next example we're going to enter the number of inches. This is where it's measuring yards. <clears throat> and since um, you would set the yarn guides on the arms of the skein winder to a certain number, let's say 2 yards or 1.5 yards, it's going to ask you for the number of inches because some skeins, uh, for whatever the reason, you may make uh, an unusual size. So in this case, we'll enter and this is wobbling here because I don't have it fast into the arm. This is a pre-production unit. In this case, I'm going to enter 72 inches. Okay? Now that happens to be 2 yards. We'll save that number. Now each time the arms go around, it will measure 2 yards and you'll see the number increment by 2 on the yardage counter. As you can see in the display, it's gone by, by twos. So, as a professional skein winder person, you know, let's say an uh, independent dyer or whatever, you know, you would not have to stand there and keep track, even if you kept track of the rotations like we can in the other setting. You still have to do the mathematics. In this case, the counter is doing all the mathematics for you. Now in this case we're going to enter a preset number. A preset number is a number that you're trying to count up to. So in this case I'm going to enter 20 yards and it's still using the number of inches that we entered in the previous example. So I hit save. That puts our target at 20, our preset number at 20, and the actual at 0. So as it goes around, of course, we're counting up by twos, and when it hits 20, it's going to sound a uh, beep. And it would shut off the motor at that point. In this example, I'm going to show that if I entered an unusual number of inches, let's say, oh, Twenty-six inches. Kind of a strange size, but nonetheless, that's the size of our rotation. So every time it rotates, it's going to record the fact that we went twenty-six inches. And on top of that, we're going to enter a preset number of twenty yards. So 
we can see the odd number on the top row being calculated because we have less than a yard on each rotation but still it's keeping accurate track of that measurement even though it wasn't an even yardage figure and when it gets to 20 yards cumulative you'll sound the beep and shut off the motor in this mode we're going to enter centimeters so we know that there's a hundred centimeters in a in a meter so why don't we enter a, a strange size we'll call it uh, sixty centimeters and we'll enter a preset of uh, let's say thirty meters So at this point, every time it goes around, it's, it's uh, measuring 60 centimeters in every rotation, which is less than a meter. And we're going to shut it down at 30 meters. This is the only unit in the world that will do what we're doing right now. So in review, I'll show you the menuing system. You know, we start out with rotations, RT. As I go around, I'm going to enter, I'm going to switch to yards. You see the yard, yardage indicator light up. And um, the number of inches, it's wanting us to enter the number of inches for every rotation. I can then go to the metric system, enter the number of centimeters, if I'd rather do uh, meters. And when I hit it again, I go back to rotation. So there's three basic modes to the unit rotations, yards, and meters. In all three of those modes I can enter a preset number and measure up to that quantity and then sound the beep or I can just uh, count meters, yards, or rotations without any sensing of uh, you know getting to a preset number at all. So I can do uh, basically can do six modes then as a result. Three primary modes and then each of those modes with, with just a simple counting or with a preset number. The electronic rotation counter will come mounted on this metal bracket that sits on the top of the unit and uh, it actually is the same bracket that's used for the small counter that uh, is bundled with the skein winder in the first place. But since this is an upgrade uh, you simply remove the small counter which attaches to the same bracket and you attach the uh, electronic rotation counter. So it's a uh, uh, pretty well thought out system where we're using the same metal bracketry to hold multiple counters. You'll see the uh, the name weight which is lit up with the uh, LED there. Um, that area of this membrane switch panel will be uh, changed over to say uh, rotations. So you have rotations, meters, and uh, yards. And each with an LED indicator showing you the mode that you're in. But in every case, you'll also see the letters in the, in the display, like RT for rotations, uh, YDS, I believe, for yards, and meters for ME. So um, you have multiple ways to see exactly what you're measuring at any point in time. But uh, since we're using the same housing, the same membrane switch panel for the electronic yarn meter, which is what you see here, uh, we have to simply modify the, the labeling a little bit to cover the electronic rotation counter.